On Hong Kong side street, the police were still chasing the protesters. The officers jumping out of vans to tackle whoever they could catch. In some cases, violently. Mayhem keeping its momentum. It was the end of an ugly day with street battles that turned into brawls and seemed to go on forever. And in one dramatic moment, a first for these protests, an officer pulled out a gun and shot an 18-year-old protester in the chest. He's still in hospital. Hong Kong's police commissioner lamented all the violence on China's national holiday. But unfortunately, some rioters choose to do all these all these sorts of uh, criminal damages. In fact, all these protests came exactly because it is China's National Day. They have been corrupting our system for a very long time, and uh, they are um, taking back many of our rights. The protesters now want democratic rights guaranteed and an inquiry into police brutality. As the police operations continued late into the night, a crowd of regular Hong Kongers, including families, formed to jeer the officers from above. That's exactly the kind of reaction that the police and the government of Hong Kong has to worry about because it's not just the protesters who are opposed to the government and who are demanding change. It's really a very broad swath of the community in Hong Kong. The question is, will that support continue? Sasha Petrusik, CBC News, Hong Kong. And so a very different scene played out in Beijing today as China celebrated seven decades of communism with a dramatic show of force and fireworks. As you can see, the day began with a military parade through the capital, complete with goose-stepping troops and a display of advanced weaponry, including deep-sea drones and an intercontinental ballistic missile never before seen publicly. The day ended with a fireworks show over Tiananmen Square and some highly choreographed performances, all, of course, designed to send a message of serious strength. <laughs> 